So in sideline, we can also test for intersegmental mobility. <clears throat> we can very easily test flexion by moving the legs and the hips. As we go further up, we need to bend more, obviously, to create the same motion uh, higher up. Extension can also be felt uh, palpating between the spinous process and feeling for the bony landmarks going uh, apart for flexion and together for extension. If I find his resting position here, I can also test anterior posterior joint play through movement through the hips. So if I counter hold with my ulnar side, I can create a posterior and anterior glide. It happens in the disc joint, in the same plane as the disc, and I can palpate for anterior and posterior movement between the two bony landmarks here. Also very helpful is to do short amplitude rotatory movements like this to test to see how easily this uh, cranial spinous process is moving in relation to the caudal one from a mid position here. So it gives us quite a good sense of general mobility versus stiffness here and it's not at all stressful for the patient. So flexion, extension, anterior posterior glide, and small amplitude rotation. Um, the rotation and glide can be done on both sides to compare.